suffering out of compassion for people other than oneself who are being horrendously oppressed. When there is compassion, there is no suffering. When the ego is at play, then there is suffering. So the idea even that you suffer in compassion for the oppressed. This very idea is false at its fundament. It's a Christian idea that is false at its fundament. There are many Christian ideas that are true at their fundament, of course. But this one is the nastiest of them all and the most false of them all. Because when there is compassion, there is no suffering. Compassion is almost the opposite of suffering. It's like when you experience compassion, you can't suffer. What compassion is, is the ability to understand what the other is going through. And you can't experience compassion if you don't experience love. And you can't experience love if you don't tune into the truth that is your master, the, 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 the soul. And when you experience soul, in that moment you experience love. And when you experience love, in that moment you experience love for the other because that soul material that is within yourself is the same thing as that which is within the other. So the idea that compassion and suffering go hand in hand is false at the fundament. It's a twisting and a manipulation of centuries that has to be done away with now. Now it has to go. Doesn't it make sense what I'm saying? It does, yeah. It's a, it's a completely corrupt and twisted understanding of giving and loving. It's the opposite that actually happens. So you as a, as a, someone who's grown up with these concepts, maybe not with these beliefs, but at least with the concepts, you are, you are damned in a way, unless you break through that prison. You're a sinner, so you can't turn inward, because if you turn inward, what you meet is a sinner. When you look outward for an ideal that you can emulate, you see a man bleeding on a cross, suffering in such a way that if you want to do something for humankind, you can never match up to him. So there also you come against a wall. Where are you supposed to turn then? So where you turn is to the ego, because the ego provides you with the suffering that you need to feel as if you are compassionate and loving. It's a twisted thing. It has to untwist. And the untwisting is where you stand up one day and you say, Where are you supposed to turn then? So where you turn is to the ego. Because the ego provides you with the suffering that you need to feel as if you are compassionate and loving. It's a twisted thing. It has to untwist. And the untwisting is where you stand up one day and you say, no, no, not any of that anymore. The truth is the truth is the truth. And I'm not a sinner. You know, people say to me, they say that, well, we don't really feel like we are sinners. But this is a genetic inheritance of a thousand five hundred years or even more. 
you can't just do away with it because you think that you don't think that or you don't feel that it's something so deeply ingrained it has to be it has to be chiseled out of the system and thrown where you start to feel yourself again that this self is the truth and that it's not a sinner that needs to, to be, be redeemed by someone suffering on a cross crucified one has to go inside and take this dirt out and throw it out forever it's an horrible inheritance that these westerners have which you guys don't have you should be grateful that you don't have to deal with what they have to deal with that battle that they have is just that much more horrible i mean you have krishna you know you have hanuman you have shiva who's there with his peace pipe with love in the air with all the gods and i mean it's just something else they have an inheritance a legacy they have to deal with which is to be dealt with now not in 10 years and in 100 years it has to be done away with also because that suffering that you connect with compassion it actually reduces the system it pulls down the system whereas compassion is something that moves outward it's in it's in giving and that suffering compassion is an egoistic feel about oneself being being a, a sort of a living in a way like the ideal who suffered the key is to pierce beyond all those ideas and actually make that connect with the antar atman with the truth of your existence it is also in those cultures the males i mean we the females will leave aside for the moment because that's another legacy but the males have been basically reduced to performers and like servants like instruments of capital just there to multiply capital for the ones behind capital that's what the males are reduced to if they if they can't actually grow spiritually and they can't believe in themselves then all they can believe in is quote unquote the place of work and that's what happens so in this path of self realization you battle those inheritances and you do away with them you pick them out and throw them in the garbage now so it's very important to make that step and to know that it is the ego which causes suffering so when you embrace suffering you are embracing the ego and you are taught to embrace the ego because that makes you an able servant of those who want to multiply their wealth and there's nothing more to it than this actually it's not much more complex 